Are you currently on a dating app? Because if you are, I want to help you to spot narcissists on that app. In today's video, I'm going to offer six indications that you may be dealing with a narcissist. Let's go. The first indication that I find very interesting and kind of sneaky is that they claim that they're kind, compassionate, caring people, which we all want somebody to be kind and compassionate and caring. That's what we want in another human being. However, who writes that about themselves and who says that? It makes no sense whatsoever. Huge red flag because I know compassionate, caring, and kind people, and people don't say that. They only say that if usually it's not the case. One big red flag is when somebody puts serial philanthropists on their occupation, just to be aware. The second indication that I want you to really look at are the pictures. The pictures are telling. They tell us a lot of things because the person in their bio might have written this other stuff up, but the pictures really tell the story. So somebody might say, for example, I'm an extremely down to earth person, but then you see like this obvious like photo shoot in front of this private jet where they're getting on the jet or getting off the jet. So I don't know about that and down to earth and how that links. Um, what about, I'm into a serious relationship. I'm looking for a serious relationship, someone to settle down with. And all the pictures are partying on boats with massive amounts of women in bikinis. You know, the list goes on. So it's like you're saying one thing, but you're showing me that you're doing the exact opposite. The third indication that you're dealing with a narcissist on your dating app is that they ask you a lot of invasive and personal questions on the phone and the very first call or even on the very first date. And the questions that they're asking you are things that are really personal. And you might even feel really weird about answering some of these questions, but you feel like you have to. And there's a lot of red flags around that. And I have just created an entire detailed video on this specific thing alone because you really need to know why they're asking those questions because there's a reason for it. And this is a big red flag because a lot of people fall into this trap. And then later on, the answers to these questions that they give are used against them. The fourth indication is love bombing. Lots and lots and lots of love bombing. And they usually do this with compliments, like you look so hot or sexy or whatever. And a lot of text messages and messages, and lots of communication in the very beginning. And this love bombing can feel really good, but it can come on really fast and really strong. And so this is a real indication because if you're starting to feel uncomfortable about the amount of communication or the amount of pressure that this person is putting on you, you're probably dealing with some love bombing. Another indication is that a lot of times people that have more narcissistic tendencies are actually into more casual sex than others. And the reason for that is partly criticism, partly rejection, partly ego, trying to satisfy that void, trying to get that supply. And so it's interesting because they will choose sexual partners that they can get. Sexual partners that are easy to get, that flatter them, that look up to them, that give them compliments, because that kind of helps their ego. And so this is a real indication. So when you're dealing with a narcissist on a dating app, they may, may be seeing many different people and having casual sex with multiple people to increase their ego and to make them feel better about themselves. The sixth indication is that there's a bigger tendency for a narcissist to ghost you or cut you out or just stop communication in its entirety without saying anything, they have a better, higher indication of doing that because of multiple reasons. The first one is they have trouble connecting with their feelings and emotions. They don't process feelings and emotions very well. That's why they have this outward persona of being bigger than everything because they really haven't dealt with anything in here. Also, they have a tendency of not having empathy. Okay, so they don't have empathy for what you're going through or if they just cut you out, how that makes you feel, they probably don't really care. And they're looking for the bigger, better deal. So somebody to give them that flattery, someone to make them feel good about themselves. And so ultimately, if you're dealing with being cut out or shut out, you probably dealt with somebody that is unable to process their emotions and probably have narcissistic tendencies on top of that. I hope these tips can help you, especially in your road to dating because it's a journey and we're learning about ourselves, but also we wanna meet somebody that's going to respect us and love us just like we're gonna respect and love them. 
In the comments section, let me know if there are other indications and red flags that you have stumbled upon or found on dating apps recently. We definitely want to add to the conversation because I think that there's a lot more here, but I just wanted to cover six in the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like on this video if you feel like the content has been helpful. And you know what I'm going to say. I always say it. Don't forget to live your true life.